Welcome to this video on lap replay analysis in your Race Studio Analysis software. So just as a recap as to where we've been in previous videos, and we will link to those uh, in the description below, you can see that we've studied data graphically by setting up the measures graph. We've also looked at uh, various forms of GPS map. But one of the things that uh, many drivers like to look at is uh, a visual representation of the data, because oftentimes people learn in different ways. And so using the AIM software, we can set it up so that you can actually see lap versus lap analysis in what's known as the lap replay analysis uh, uh, feature. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the top of the uh, menu bar here, and we're going to click uh, on all of these buttons, the one on the uh, about the middle here called uh, Show Lap Replay Analysis. So if I click on that button there, it's going to open up a new screen. Now, you can see that this is the track map that we created in previous videos. If you haven't seen that video again, uh, there will be links to it uh, below. Um, but one of the things that we want to be able to do on this is to be able to represent uh, the performance of each of the laps. And so what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so we can see one lap versus another and follow those around the track. Uh, based upon uh, whatever their lap time was. So the first thing we want to do is to be able to select those laps. And so we're going to continue with lap 12 versus lap 8. So I'm going to scroll down here and say lap 12. And then on the second reference lap, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to say lap uh, number 8, uh, which is here, uh, which is good. And then if I want to be able to make sure I've got consistency here, I can click and make sure that lap 12 is in red. And I can make sure that lap um, eight is in blue, so I can do that here. And so those two pieces of information are now set up, so we're looking at the right laps. Then there's some additional inputs that we want to be able to have a look as we're going around that track to be able to analyze that particular data. So uh, one of the things that we may want to have a look at is GPS speed. Um, so we'll click there. And then the other one that we may want to have a look at is uh, GPS longitudinal acceleration. So we'll set those up for both of these variables here. So we've got uh, accurate uh, comparison that's going on. And if you're uh, interested in why we're setting these up here is because if we go back to the measures graph, they match the same. We've got here GPS speed and longitudinal acceleration as uh, many of our in indicators of driver input and performance uh, and variables on track. But what we want to be able to have a look at is how do we represent this chart, but in a different, more visual way. And that's what we're going to look at with the lap replay. So if we go back to the lap replay, now we've got it set it up, uh, set up with uh, what we need uh, on the track. And so what we're going to do now is we're simply going to hit uh, the play button here or start. And you're going to notice this little green blob here is a representation of when both laps start at start finish, they're in exactly the same spot. But then what happens to them as they drive around different parts of the track? So if we click on start, you can see that these two are starting to separate. And as we go through the first corner, you can see that all of a sudden the red um, uh, lap, which we can see is lap number 12, the faster of the two, is pulling ahead after we've looked at that analysis. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click stop. Um, but you can watch it for the whole lap uh, and we'll start it again in just a minute. But at this point, you can see that if both cars... Um, or both laps started at exactly the same spot which they did, lap over lap comparison would suggest that the red lap, which was the reference, the fastest lap, would be ahead um, at this particular point on track. And we can see that uh, the distance between the first two right now is about 60 feet between the two cars, and the time difference is about 0.36 uh, of a second. So you can see that gain that's been made by the reference red lap as you go through that particular corner. But as we start it up again, you'll see that that variable changes as we go around the track. And so for many who may not necessarily like looking at the graphs and seeing certain information, this may be a more visual way of being able to represent that data. And you can see that in this particular scenario here, if I click on stop again, the uh, blue lap has managed to carry a lot more performance through this section of the track. And you can see now that when we get back to a straightaway and we haven't got the accordion effect of someone braking and someone still accelerating, you can see at this point that uh, the blue lap has caught up a lot with the red lap to the tune now, it's now 14 feet and 0.1 of a second in terms of difference. And so if we carry that one forward even more and then see how that uh, works down, and we can follow these in real time, uh, or effective real time to this lap, 
we can see that as we get to this particular point, there's a slight separation uh, that happens again. But at the same time, as we get to this point on track, the uh, laps have caught up with each other again. And one of the things we want to be able to identify at this point is that here at this corner as well, the blue lap has done a much better job again. And we notice that the distance is now 0 0.02 of a second and two feet. And so as we then click on the button to finish off the lap going around, they're neck and neck effectively here or overlap. The blue lap has got a slight gap on the other, but then with a better exit, uh, the red lap um, manages to start distancing just slightly uh, as they approach start finish to the point where if we pause it or stop it just before start finish, you can see at this point we're talking of a fraction of we've got 12 feet and 0 0.07 of a second as we come to start finish. And so the reason we've chosen these two laps is they are very similar in terms of lap performance, but that time has been gained at different points through the track. And so this is a very good and visual way of being able to represent the data. So that's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. Please also leave a comment below if you want to let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified of future videos. There's a lot more content to come. Thanks for watching.